You can see on the scoreboard in the building that Katrina Feklistova has withdrawn from competition. Uh, we don't know why. She had her weightlifting shoes on. Um, but Yeah, a bit odd. She scratched all of her attempts, so uh, Feklistova is out of this one, unfortunately. Here's AT for Siltrick. Comfortable opener. We'll step backward, but not a problem at all. Yeah, very smooth. And from what we know, this is her international debut, so she's on the scoreboard. If you're wondering what the top athletes or top athlete in the world is hitting in this category, well, Liang Xiaomei is snatching in the mid-20s, 125, 126, uh, and she's clearly enjoyed the world record of 161 kilos and holds the total world record at 284 kilos. That's absolutely enormous and puts her uh, 16 kilos ahead of the second highest uh, athlete in the world in yeah. this category, Sarah Ahmed from Egypt, which leads me to feel more and more as time goes on, especially with her upward trajectory, that Lang Zhemei will be one of the three Chinese athletes chosen on the women's side. Yeah, she's just incredibly strong. She looks pretty good. China likes to win. They like to send a sure thing. So the further that first place is ahead of second, the more likely they're going to end up going. Yeah. And with Li Wen Wen having injured herself in Saudi Arabia and then not lifted in Doha, she's still dealing with the injury. It's not a sure thing that she'll be sent. Here's Simona Jabakova, 80 kilos. Eighty-four kilos. Oh, oh made that same error. No Swung way. the bar a little bit and then rocked down, let the hips curl under too much, and that bar falls behind. It's a uh, equal to her international best. It's a heavy opener. It's a heavy for her. left, yeah. You know, plenty of power, plenty of ability to make that lift. Just needs a slight correction to that trajectory. So Sil, uh, Siltrick coming out now. Second attempt, four kilo jump from her smooth opener. Very nice. Very nice lift for her. Yeah, very solid. Could be happy with that, 84. So just an update for you all on uh, Katrina Feklistova. She told us that she fractured her back about seven, eight months ago, her L2, L4, and L5. Um, wow. So only got the all clear a week ago that the fractures have all healed. So she's back lifting 75-ish percent. I wonder why she came out. Just to weigh in, I'm assuming. But why? Yeah, I don't know why she would come. Why would she uh, come just to weigh in? She's not in a. She's not in a position to go to the Olympics. To experience sunny Maybe Bulgaria. Just a, yeah, just a fun experience. I mean, yeah. it is great coming out to these competitions. It's an opportunity for her to train with yeah. the rest of the team as well. Jokova here. She rocked a little bit far back on the first one. She's got to correct this. Much better. So much nicer. Does a better job there. Good. Yep, relieved. Sometimes you've got to stay further forward. She's on the board now. So 87 is the attempt written in for Silchik. These two athletes are, are going to finish up in the snatch before we see anybody else come out. They'll both take around that 87, 88 kilo mark for their final attempt. So, 87 now. This will be Silchik's third attempt. She's looked good up till now, making her first two. Yeah. This will be a perfect day for her. Oh, oh. Just overdoes the pull. Yeah. Well, you know, first international, you make two attempts. It's good. Yeah, you're doing pretty well. Yeah, that's good. And especially when the third attempt looks like that. 
you know, it was right there. Yeah. Um, just, yeah. just over pulled it a little bit. Well, she knows she can make it. She's close. The close miss is a valuable thing for some people. You know, you can do it. Just come back and yeah. clean that up technically for the next competition. No, Dribble Gover had a miss followed by a make, and they looked like two, you know, pretty yeah. different lifts. Um, in the pool, you could tell very quickly on the second one that it was going to be more successful. So if she can follow in those footsteps, she could be good here. It'd be a f three kilo international best for her if she makes it. Oh, nice adjustment at the yeah. bottom there. Sank down a couple yep. of extra inches, let that bar settle in, and she's done it. Yeah, she needed that. She needed to just drop down a little bit further because the bar wasn't quite above the center of her foot, but she... Uh, yeah, phenomenal work. Steady it. Okay, Daria Kaiser now, the independent athlete. Athlete, independent, neutral. What do we know about Daria? Well, she snatched 86 kilos before. That's her international best. This is uh, only her third ever international, actually. Hasn't competed since 2021 at the European Junior Championships. She snatched 86 kilos there. So two and a half years later, and she's opening up with seven kilos more than she made last time she lifted. It's big progress. Wow, what a save. Incredibly strong overhead Had hold that. But really large wild. hitch on that pull. Yeah. She jumped forward about a foot, and then the bar actually went behind yeah. her, but clearly a very strong athlete. That was a surprising lift. I'd Certainly not say, technically uh, yeah. sound, but yeah. it was enough to make. Compared to the other ath independent athletes, definitely the most rugged in terms of technique. I mean, that was... Wild. We'll see if the second and third get cleaned up a bit. That might have just been a fluke. Yeah. A lot of power and strength, but that's yeah. about it. Which is something we've seen from uh, the uh, independent nations. They've they've all been very technically solid. They have been. Very strong. But Until yesterday and, and yeah. now today again. Yeah. In some cases, though, they sometimes haven't been making their yeah. as many lifts as other athletes. Maybe only one or two in the snatch or clean and jerk. Well, you know, a lot of them have been through the sort of Belarusian school of technique, technique yeah. haven't it? You know, yeah. so um, there's a tradition of, of good moving athletes. Turkey up now. Turkey. Yeah. Yeah. An athlete we've seen many times now internationally. In fact, I think she's arguably the most experienced lifter here. Well, other than the two Americans. Yeah. 2017, she was at the Youth World Champs. Very solid opening lift. Yeah, it's nice. Well, she's definitely yeah. looking at medals. You know, she took the silver medal last year uh, at the European Champs. Well, we've got Ooh. a jury stop already. Okay, the jury are potentially maybe an elbow issue, a lockout yeah. issue. Take a look at this, see what they see a replay here soon enough. You know, we've seen some calls from the jury, from the referees that are overturned in favor of the athlete, but it's very rare for that to happen. Can't see anything there. She got three whites on that. Oh, Is see it? that right arm, just a little bobble. I'm it's very slight. If you squint, maybe there's a flicker. Yeah. But that's about it. Let's see if they if they uphold that decision or yeah. they reverse it. Once again, great to have yeah, the jury in the building today. You know, always welcomed with open arms. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So it's a no lift for. Well, her. that's going to be a, a very telling thing to see Brutal. here. That really sets the stage for the level of strictness that we're going to see in this session. Yeah. Obviously, the most important thing with a jury or referees is consistency. We want to well, make sure that every attempt is judged the same. They've it's worth saying uh, that the technical officials had a meeting today before this, and uh, 
they were told to be a bit more strict. Tighten it up. Yeah, so... You know, we might see even harsher judging in this session than we have done. Yep. And if she's up. She's up, but I mean, oh. if they no light at the red light at the last one, they yeah. can't. It's two to one. Yeah, they can't let that here. one go. But it looks like they're going to. So yeah, the jury's not calling that. In my opinion, that I mean, they were both our, great yeah. lifts, but that was um, from our vantage point. I would agree. Yeah, it that was like more obvious a press out than the last lift. But that I mean, look at that. How do they? It's shocking. Well, it has to be said, actually, during the technical officials meeting, apparently they um, said that some of them have been a little bit naughty and supported their own nations too loudly, and they've been told off for that. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I can't but, I imagine mean, what session that would have been, but <laughs> <laughs> who may have been given yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a very good lift, but yeah. You know, That's I'm going to have to go surprising. back and watch that session and re-watch just how egregious that press out yeah. was. Three red lights all overturned by the jury unanimously and a good yeah. lift given. That's the men's 55s if you're interested. The country at hand, Bulgaria. <laughs> <laughs> you know, interesting to point that out. The last lift that was overturned by the jury, the athlete was wearing black full-length sleeves. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's almost become a red flag for the yeah, jury to 100%. really scrutinize because... Well, they we see that red flag, they raise their red they, flag. Yeah. <laughs> Kids are here, taking her second at 96, just a three kilo jump. Her opener was a bit erratic. We'll see what happens on this second attempt. Mm -hmm. Was that a fluke or does her technique just deviate that way? Yeah, we saw a few athletes yesterday wild on their openers and then really tighten things up once they got into the comp. Yeah, still had that pretty big hitch. Yeah. No Hips come up a little fast and that makes that transition into the explosion just a little bit slow, almost to the point where the bar doesn't actually Right. Really accelerated. I mean, Continue it was almost like uh, she hits the bar pretty horizontally with her hips, and then there's no continual pull yeah. with the upper body. It yeah. just it just sort of thuds and dies at height. Well, the problem is once the legs extend, if they don't readjust under the bar well and your hips come forward, it's not going to get any kind of vertical acceleration. Right. So you're relying on what you get off the hips, and it's almost always just a swing and forward. So she'll follow herself unless she takes a jump to at least 98 kilos, but or 97, I guess. But yeah. seeing that, I'd be I'd be surprised if they do the jump. Although they may want the rest. And just as a reminder, that the ath the European athletes are not including Roger Zolviva here. If they wanted to get into the top 10 in the world, they'd need a 248 kilo total. Uh, that is quite a way ahead of anything that any of these athletes have actually hit before. We're talking like 15 to 20 kilos ahead. Yeah. So uh, we don't think we're going to see any attempt no. at trying to get into the top 10. So Kites is going to follow herself at 96. Worth mentioning, Delara Narin, who was called for a press out, um, she's gone up two kilos. I guess she knows that she's strong enough to make more. Yeah, really watch for her transition here. Watch for the explosion. Does she continue to accelerate the bar past the knee? Much better. Yep, a lot she better. Yeah. Still a little hop forward, but definitely hop. made the correction yeah. there. It's almost like you could see that past the knee, her knee started traveling forward, re-engaged yeah. the legs, and she finished strongly with a push through the ground. Yeah, that was a great Generated adjustment. Generated way more height. Every lift looked, uh, well, second lift didn't look too good, but third looked much better. First attempt. So Ilke Legru here yep. from Belgium taking 97 on her opener. She told us that training's gone really well the last few months. She's made progress mentally and physically. She's enjoying every second of training at the moment, which really is great. Yeah. Um, she snatched 101 kilos in Qatar back in December. That's the most she's snatched in a long time. I think this 97, she's probably trying to set herself up for an improvement on that. She can make this, she can take a closer attempt at her second, and then maybe a personal record on her third. So oh, much yep. height. 
Very nice. A smile at the bottom. Yeah. She knows she had it there. You know, she, in the cat, she, she looks up a lot and she has her shoulders quite far forward. So yeah. she almost looks in danger of looking too far up and then losing the weight forwards. But yeah. she, she had a lot of strength in that. Yeah, well, her anatomy kind of puts her in that position where her shins are relatively vertical. Right. Drops the hips down and the torso forward a little bit. A lot of just extension throughout the spine. Yeah, yeah, that thoracic spine is extended and she's got her chest up, but it works for her. Delara here, her second attempt. She was given her opener and then the jury took yeah. it away. Yeah, they took the two kilo increase though. She doesn't have a snatch on the board yet. That looks to be good. We'll have to wait and see. Good this good time it's three, three whites. whites. Yeah, and the jury aren't moving. That's a good thing. It's harsh. It's tough, uh, tough uh, yeah. way to start the competition. But she's one of the strongest clean and jerkers, if not the strongest in the field on the women's side. So if she can make one more snatch, she, she's in with a, a great shot. It, even if she can't, she could still probably get a medal in the total. But she can get one more snatch and then pull out something big in the clean and jerk. It's possible that she uh, she could move up. You know, she took second last year in the European Champ. She won to gold this year. Here's Gurian, Armenian, second attempt, 95, three kilo jump from her opener. Her best is 103. Yep, not there today though. Let's see if she repeats that on her third. Yeah, she'd have to do something pretty yeah. Big, uh, find a lot of extra strength or something because that, that just didn't look very confidence inspiring. Yeah, she just left that bar in front when she went to turn it over. The chest and head didn't come through enough. Well, she's making an adjustment, changing weight. Let's see who that brings out. It's going to be Delara, but we'll see if she holds at 98. Nope, she's moving up as well. Yeah. So, Yurjan so. ends up remaining the lifter, but without the two-minute clock. Is it going to be... Oh, it is Gurian? Okay. Yeah, we'll see if she we'll see if she comes after this. 99 would buy her a little bit of time, but no. It's a smart move for her to take this. She rushed the first attempt at this weight, ending up with the bar just in front of her head on the turnover. She could be a little bit more patient, hold position during the pull. She might get that bar back behind her head. It's under her best ever, so she's definitely capable of this lift. See her set up here. Watch the top of the pole. Does she hold position well? Much better. Yeah, it was it was that a much was better so attempt. Much better. Yeah, just didn't get it where it belonged, yeah. unfortunately. But really great attempt at that lift. She will be credited with 95 on her opening attempt. Yeah. So the bar now is going to move to 99 kilos. This will be the first attempt for Elena Aragina from Moldova. We'll see if 99 sticks though as an opening attempt. Yep, she's getting. Getting herself ready in the tunnel here. Ninety-nine kilograms. Opening attempt. This is Moldova. Wow. Very strong pull. Yes, she had she <laughs> might have gotten the down signal before, yeah. Oh, Three wow. reds. She's so strong in the pull there. Pulls it higher than anyone who's seen so far. But she's a taller athlete. She has to. Yeah. And it's easier to. Yeah, there's a tiny bit of a loop there at the top of the hips. We'll see if she actually comes through here on the next one. Let's watch this replay. Yeah, a little bit of an elbow bobble. Looks like both of the elbows unlocked when she received the weight. You can see right here. Very subtle, but yeah. 
like we said earlier, the jury and the refs are being instructed to be a little bit stricter, tighten everything up. They've well, been Sato a little bit loose. Just, but they still gave her the down. I mean, she had the down signal before she even finished standing up, so they, they were instantly yeah. on it. Yeah, they all got it right away. Three reds. Quick bit of ammonia for her. Yeah, it doesn't even wait more than no. 10 seconds and she's back out here. Yeah, she had a clock stall, I'm guessing, by... I don't know who it was. Somebody took it. Yeah. Yeah, I think Legru moved up. She had 99 in as well. Right. Waited for her name to be called, then increased to take that clock. Got to be a little bit more aggressive on that route. Catch there, looks to be good. Can oh she hold it? Word. What a fight to oh save God. that. The, the, the sort of horizontal distance, if you drew a line with the barbell vertically down and then looked at the horizontal distance between that line and her head, it's more than we've seen in any yeah. so far. <laughs> that, that bar went so far back yeah. and, it, well, and it really relied on the, the, the tension in her yeah, upper body this. to stop Look it from that. falling. Oh. Wow. That was extreme to watch. Oh, that just put so much pressure on the elbow, shoulder, even the pec. Just a lot of pressure oh, there. But she feels it. Yeah, she winces there a little bit afterward. That one was a fight. Very friendly athlete. We've we filmed her and the Moldovan team quite a lot in training over the years. She's always been very, uh, very fun to film. Good athlete, technically. Yep. Okay, Legru second attempt, three kilo jump for the Belgian. Yeah, made a solid opener at 97. This is just a kilo shy of her best. A little Lots forward, but she stabilizes. Yeah. She's got the smile. Let's see if that's enough to buy whites from the jury. Yeah, it is. Max, guess when, she, uh, guess when she started weightlifting? Well, I'm going to guess that it was uh, probably a while ago. She looks pretty good. But September 2022. I was going to say, I might be, <laughs> you might be tricking me there with that she's one. She's been lifting a year and a half. That's incredible. Wow. 18 months, and she's at the European Championships, you know, not doing 100 kilos. That's fantastic. She's got a bright future yeah. ahead of her. She's very solid here you know she'll get a little bit better technically more consistent sharper overall we can see some very good lifts from her in the future Be exciting to watch yeah. and follow that journey well interestingly she's she's not full-time so she's you know she uh she's a, a physio and ah. uh, she said that she struggled even though training's going well she struggled this month because uh, early in the year, lots of people get, you know, fevers, they get the flu, all these sorts of things. And she sees all those people, she treats them. Oh, wow. So she's just, she's just been hounded by ill people for the last six months, six weeks. Wow. And so she's had to work really hard on her recovery and just getting enough sleep and everything. Yeah. Um, but mentally, she's she's right there. She said she just loves, loves every second of it. Um, she said that combining all of these things is, is tough, but so she likes the challenge. Yeah, well, that's fantastic. Now, this is an important lift because Narin is definitely a medal contender. You know, certainly one, someone who can fight for gold. If she doesn't make this, it's going to be tough. Oh, just a little forward. No you could see that left arm unlocked and then the bar fall forward. Wow. So she's going to have a lot of work to do. Yeah, she'll be down to. at 97. You know, there could be... If everything goes well for uh, Zelinska and Loic, they could be close to 10 kilos ahead yeah, of Narin after the snatch. Delara's got a strong clean and jerk, though. She's she done some bigger lifts there, so yeah. she has, but she'll have to rely on that even more, which is yeah. not really what you want. She'll have to go big. So Zelinska from Poland coming out fast. The She's the penultimate of the European athletes. I think she's going to move up, actually. She's going to bring out Loic from the Netherlands. We've got Vibert and Rogers from the USA, guest athletes here at this European Championships. They'll be competing uh, here, coming out in a, a few minutes' time as well. I had a chance to speak with her coach right there. He was very... Very enthusiastic, had a lot of positive things to say about the broadcast. Yeah. Always nice to hear. Well. Nikki Lowick here from the Netherlands. 
but take note of her socks. I believe she has uh, her coach's face on those socks. Hmm. Oh, oh. Such a great attempt. Just yeah. maybe bounced off her and catch. The story behind those socks, though, is that she was at a, well, going to be at a competition, and he, and the coach right there, wasn't going to be able to attend. So as a, a bit of humor, some of her teammates made those socks with his face on it so she could have them there. Well, she, she's tired. She told us that just training recently has been mentally, physically very tough, lots of heavy lifts, particularly focusing on squats. Um, she hit a new personal best in the front squat, actually, at 140 kilos. Mm. But she, she's coming into this competition definitely feeling the the pressures and the general tiredness of, of a tough session. Now, what can we see there? One of well, that's Rogers yeah, moving see. up as well. Yeah, that was see her coach. Coach Amy Everett making a change there. We can probably see. Let's take a look at the... There's been no change that we can see on the... Scoreboard for Rogers. She's still at 107 and Kate Vibert's at 106. Their battle. Rogers is scratched. She's out. Wow. So Rogers ah, withdraws Benji. from this competition. Wow. That's uh that's surprising. Unexpected. Yeah. I mean not ex not something we had really expected. We'd wow, seen that's that. Such a shame. She had that wrap on her leg. We mentioned that earlier in the in the broadcast, but maybe something happened on the way up in the warm-ups. I mean, I have a, a theory. I'll put it out there after this lift, and we've got a bit of time, but I guess we'll have to catch up with uh, Matty after this and try and work out exactly what it was. These are just theories that we'll have. But here's 103 for Zielinska from Poland. This will put her into the lead by three kilos in this women's 81 kilo session. Yeah, a very tall athlete, but the way that we see these Polish lifters move, she's going to be snappy. She's going to hold position. Oh, well, you know, a little slow yeah. on the turnover there, and then she tried to make that adjustment late, ended up not being able to get the bar back where it belonged. Very deep uh, squat position. Um, so, you know, Matthew Rogers, basically, she has to come here and hit 263 kilos in the total. It'd be a 10-kilo personal record for her. Yeah, it'd be huge. And she's clearly not feeling great in her leg. She's, she's wrapped her leg up pretty tight. They have to compete in Thailand and go enormous and try and do it there as well as here. And if she knows that she can't do it today and she's just going to have to lift heavy, not hit the total again, and maybe just injure that leg even more. Yeah. Then, yeah, I mean, why compete? Exactly, yeah. It's probably a smart strategy if she's not 100% here. Right. Why waste it? You just have to hope that doesn't throw off the timing and the competitive aspect that yeah. Kate Vibert thrives on. Nikki Lowick here. Oh. Oh. So frustrating. She had that overhead, stood up, but just couldn't balance. Now she's 0 for 2. She has one more attempt mm -hmm. to make an... A snatch, and you know, honestly, a 103 snatch mistake. in this session would be in a good position. Yeah, I mean, could potentially even be a medal. You know, it just doesn't get much closer than that. Stubinska yeah, I think 103 here. would medal. I think it would. Yeah, Stubinska here also unsuccessful with her first attempt at 103. The current leader in the snatch is Legru from Belgium, and she's at 100. Second attempt for Veronica Zelinska. Yep. She's got that lift. I was not sure yeah, there. Yeah, it looked yeah. like she might drop it behind. She started, to, she started to sit deeper, which tends to push the hips slightly further back as she rocks down. She almost lost it behind, but it's a good lift. Now, something that's interesting is in an ideal world, we know that uh, Kate Viber and her coach, Spencer Arnold, would have used the, the rest in between her lifts from Matty Rogers to recover better for the heavy lifts. Yeah. She now doesn't have that, Yep. which may, perhaps in the snatch isn't going to cause too much of an issue. It'll be, it'll be a challenge in the clean and jerk. She'll be following jerk. herself for all of those attempts, and they're going to be really heavy. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a great lift for That's the best of the three there. so far. Yeah, full kilo jump from 99, and she makes it. That moves her into silver right now in the current does, standing. Yeah. She equals that front snatch of 103 from Zelinska. That puts her in a great spot. She's also got a very strong cleaning jerk. She's in with a shout at a uh, certainly a medal in this competition. Who knows if she can fight for gold even. So here's Legru going for 103 as well. We spoke about how new she is to the sport. Yeah. For her to take this 103 and potentially this would this would put her as a bronze in the in the snatch. is a big lift for her because it gives her a shot to fight for the total in the clean and jerk. Moves her up three kilos. Oh, oh looks to be the best one wow. though. It is so precarious overhead in the catch. You know, you can see that her body and the bar vibrating essentially. She's yeah. just barely there, one centimeter more forward and it wouldn't be a good lift, but yeah. what a fight. Three I found three. myself shaking my head there in disbelief watching her lift. She's been competing for, she's been weightlifting for 18 months. That's She has a full-time job and she just went three for three and as it stands, no European weightlifter yeah. has lifted more than her. That's incredible. In this category. So, this lift is do or die. This would move her into first place in a snatch. If she doesn't make it though, she won't have a snatch on the board. She's missed her first two, missed 102, 103. Here's 104, each one closer mm -hmm. than the last. She's got the pull for it. No. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, behind. If that you know is it, that's such a shame. too frustrating. Wow. And now what does she do? Does she muster the, the energy to try and continue on? Yeah, that is so, so close. I mean, she has, uh, she's never bombed out before. So, a quick update. Uh, Kate Vibert is lifting in this, the US, the 2019 world champion. Um, she's moved up to this 81 kilo category very suddenly after seeing what happened and uh, in Doha with, um, with Olivia Reeves snatching, well, totaling a massive 262 kilos. She decided she has to go up and try and not only defeat Matty Rogers, but also move into the top five in the world. Matty yeah. has just withdrawn from competition, so Kate is going to be on her own here. Kate just bumped up to 108. Um, she might open up around the 110 mark. We were in the back room with yeah, Spencer Arnold, the coach, and Spencer said to us, we're thinking 110 opener, because she has to go big. She needs the snatch, you know, a personal best if she's going to have any hopes of well, then a personal record of a cleaner jerk as well if she wants to hit that 263. 253 would move her ahead of Matty. It, it would put yeah. her into the top 10. That's, that's, that's the, first, be the move. first goal. Yeah, first move she has to make. Before that, though, Stabinska here at 106. She already is in the lead in the snatch, has gold. But this would be a very nice cushion for her. She'll need it in the clean and jerk. Ah, little forward. Definitely makes that clean and jerk a little more interesting. Well, first, second, and third in the snatch at the European Champs, all at 103. Yeah. Uh, we've not seen I, that I yet. I was just going to say, I don't yeah. think I've seen that before. Certainly Alder not at this competition, but we, I mean, potentially we've not even commentated on that. You before. know, and then we have in fourth place. So we just saw a change go in. I think it's going to be to 110. It is. Yep. So Kate's going to come out at 110. I can tell you that she just... Well, a few minutes ago, she snatched 102 in the back room. She, she did run it out, so it wasn't always in the best spot, but uh, she then just took 106, but it was a nicer lift. She had to take one little step forward, but she's done 102 and 106. Here's 110 for Kate Vibert. Her international best is 112. Yeah, this is a huge lift for her. She's lived more in training. She's got some pretty... Spectacular lifts off the block. She'd been over 115 in the snatch on the blocks before. But this lift is extraordinary. And this is Kate doing everything she can to qualify for the Olympic Games. She's gone up two weight categories in the space of two months. 
in the hopes of trying to get a new personal best in both lifts. Yeah, this will really set the tone for the rest of the day. 110. It's forward. Yep. She hops forward, swings the bar. The question now, though, is yeah, did they go up? what do we do? You know, we spoke earlier about what they need. That 253 would be the first thing that's just, you know, a mandatory safety. It's a real long shot for that to actually matter. But with a big jump forward like that herself, oh. it's tough to correct. I could see her go up. I mean, she'd have to go, what, what she would need in the snatch to make the clean and jerk manageable. She's We're talking a 263. She's going to need to put together 15. yeah, at least a 115. 15 and then attempt a 48. You know, it's definitely gone up because we've just seen Spencer put in a change. Well, he may have declared 10 to buy oh, okay. some time. Yeah, yeah. I imagine he would. Then the next he'll do is maybe a two kilo jump. Right. And then wait for that bar to get loaded, then make another one if they are going up, in fact. Very experienced yeah. coach. Not sure what he's saying right now. Obviously, you know, giving her some advice technically. What well, you to know, do. What? he is mic'd up oh, uh, yeah. for the documentary, the final attempt. We'll know. We'll know so in short order. At some point, yeah. we will know seven what comes he said. out. Yeah. Is it seven or episode time. seven of the final? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's probably saying to them, "Well, seven max are saying that you should probably go up to one fourteen. Yeah. But that's probably um, what, yeah. but, but that's why we're not going to do that. We're going to stick at 110. Yeah, she's staying at 10 here. This will mean that she'll take a she'll need to take a much bigger attempt on her third. If she doesn't make this, then she absolutely has to make the jump up. Yeah. If she doesn't make that, then yeah. she won't clean a jump. It's I really imagine. yeah, it's really a moot point. Oh gosh. What a bloodbath this session has been. Yeah. That last attempt, she was moving her body to the bar too aggressively too soon. That's why she hopped forward so much. If she can just hold position well through the pole. Right. That's it. You know, she's got great positions. She's a very experienced lifter. Just a small tweak, and this could be an easy lift. She's got to stay with the bar. Ah, it was closer. It was a better pull, actually. Just, you know, she cut the power a little yeah. too much, I think. Yeah, there was a difference there. You know, the one before, yes, she missed it behind, but she pulled herself forwards way yeah. too much. Yeah. That one, she was much more patient, kept the bar. Right over the center of her foot. You can see well, it from our side position. It was a nicer pull. I think, so I think, uh, have to go up. the nod I saw there is one of those nods that's basically like either go up or we're done. Yeah, because she has to total 263 if she wants to be in an Olympic position. Yeah. I mean, because she can't clean and jerk 153, fifth. so. Exactly. That's just so even if you make the 110, yeah. what are you going to do? Hit 153? Yeah. No, you know, you, you know, you're just not. 112 would be the absolute lowest, I would imagine. Maybe 113 13. is the lowest. And then yeah. she'd have to go for 150. Yeah, that's just a giant okay. lift. Wow, that's, it's a makeable lift for her. She has to do the same thing she did. Clean up the technique, be patient, but deliver that same power. A little bit more weight might help her with that. And it's worth acknowledging that this is not you know, just specific to the U.S. athletes. We've seen athletes in all Olympic categories who are in yeah. in these sorts of positions, opening with weights that are right at the limit of what they can do. In some cases, we even saw a nine One kilo minute. personal record attempt One in the clean and jerk, and the athlete true. made the clean, Katie which is even more Fiber. insane. USA. Wow, she's coming out for 110. Yeah, this lift, uh, I don't know, uh, you know, I mean, she, she hasn't really been that close on the first two. First one, she jumped forward a lot. Second one was not quite there. She could make this, but it it just gives her really no room in the clean and jerk. A monster lift she'd need there. Well, whatever happens, we're definitely going to see Kate and Matty battling out again in, uh, yeah. in Thailand in a few weeks. She can make the adjustment here. A little more patient. Use the legs better at the top. Yeah, and not not even a single lift. You know, uh, the pressure, what kind of shape she's in for this competition, it's really wow. hard to know, but. Well, I mean, that maybe says it all. That's a so Neither. Kate and Matty will both go to Thailand. We'll be streaming that competition at Weightlifting House TV, so make sure you're there for it. That's going to be their last chance to uh, to make a shot going to the Olympics. Yeah. 
both of them falling prey to just coming from a country with so many strong women. Uh, not only do they have to get into the top 10, they have to get into the top five in the world, and that's just very difficult to do in this 81 kilo category. Yeah. You um, know, the, yeah. The challenge here, too, is what does, what does Viber do? Does she do a clean and jerk? Do they try to get a little bit of a heavy training session in here and go for something big, or does she really I mean, just maybe. save it? You know, it's... It's you know, that is the know. question, but also, you know, how how devastating to potentially hit the clean and shark here. That would be, yeah. I think, gosh, if I'd have just made a smash. Well, I could see them maybe <laughs> just taking some heavy 140 to 150 range, you know, 140, 144. I mean, that would be, I'd love to see it, but, it's, but yeah. I feel like they're not going to. Yeah. I, I would have thought they would pull out now. Unfortunate end to the session there with the two Americans, but... Europeans is still in full swing here, and well, it's, it's very fun. actually a very tight competition. Like you said earlier, top three, first, second, third, all with 103 in the snatch. Yeah. And closely matched in the clean and jerk, each with right. a little bit different clean and jerk. You know, first, second, and third, but... You know, they may have written the podium results, or at least decided who's going to be in the top three with that, because the drop-off to fourth is six kilos. Yeah. And that's for Delara Naren. She's a good clean and jerker, but... She's going to have to be seven kilos ahead of one of those three in the yeah. clean and jerk to the move ahead, and that's not easy. The stars would have to align yeah. for that to happen. But we've seen, we've seen more dramatic things than that, so we'll see how this all plays out in the clean and jerks. You know, worth mentioning, and I, I never know actually whether this is worth mentioning because I don't know how many people, when I say what I'm about to say, think, why do you have to say that? Or how many people think, wow, that's really interesting and amazing. Thank you for saying that. What I'm going to say is, <laughs> Camilla Conatop would have won from the 59s. Yeah. That's yeah. just how good she was, or she is. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's worth acknowledging how amazing these athletes are, but not forgetting the best in the world, who happen to be sometimes in other categories, just ha you know, at 22 kilos less body weight, would have outsnatched these, yeah. these women. Yeah. I could see a response to that being if my uncle had wheels, he'd be a bicycle. Right, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do agree. I think yeah. that's actually a good point to note that that uh, there are some absolute standouts and, and just extraordinary athletes here that, you know, goes to show just how competitive they are. Yeah. Well, I mean, another one. <laughs> Yesterday, it was all amazing. You know, Carlos snatched up 176. Unbelievable. Lu Jun snatched more than that, 77. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, he weighed 10 kilos less. You know, there's there's levels to it, right? There are levels. And then the irony of that is the man who was on the platform with Carlos after that yeah. snatched 195 and a half at mm -hmm. 90. Yeah. There's, there's no 40 level. 40 years ago. Yeah, there's no level above that. But 42 years. There's yeah. no level above that. Yeah. It's been Nobody's actually very, very interesting for fans of the sport to have been here. I know you can appreciate this, but walking around just in the venue yesterday and over the the weeks we've been here week we've been here the veritable who's who of yeah. of incredible athletes we saw Blagoy Blagoev uh -huh. Zlatan Vanev yesterday night Stefan Botev is in the training hall right now oh is he, he oh is, wow yeah. yeah well he was there an hour ago I don't know if he's still yeah. there yeah it's a it's a pretty unique scenario yeah, pretty good uh, athletes kind of a, a Disneyland of weightlifting for yeah. us, I would say. Well, you know, you're in the homeland of European weightlifting, really. Yeah, One of the true. absolute uh, awesome places, Sofia, Bulgaria. You know, the, the training hall used in unbelievable Bulgarians is, uh, was it two and a half kilometers yeah, from here? Yeah, it's about two and a half kilometers from Pretty here. Pretty close. I think we'll maybe try to make a trip there at some point mm -hmm. in the next couple of days. Yeah. Be great to see well, that. Well, there's not much left of this competition. I mean, tomorrow we've got three A sessions. That's true. And then it's the final day after that. You know, we're within, well, we're within, four, in 48 hours it's over. Yeah. Because it's a little early on that on that final day. So there's not long left. Which is absolutely, uh, well, it's devastating in many ways, but also, you know, I've been traveling now for a while. Yeah, you've been on the road for close to a month <laughs> i mean not far off yeah wow yeah no well, stop over on the way here right we flew. just flew from uzbekistan to here via istanbul wow we spent four hours there had a chick-fil-a <laughs> which we don't have in the uk so it was a treat oh interesting and then, uh, and then we came here and i've just been here for the last week and a half um yeah. but it's great so it's so much fun and then in six weeks time we fly to thailand, thailand. And we get to do the commentary there, and and yeah. that I mean that competition, we've um, we've already secured for the rights for it, which is great. So we'll have that Weightlifting House TV, and that's just built into your your subscription, so you don't, you don't have to pay anything else for that. That's just part of the package. 
Um, so that's going to be where people find out, where we find out what's truly going on. Yeah, that'll be the battleground for sure. A lot of, you know, for every session we've seen here and really over the last six months with the Olympic classes, the absolute brutality in these sessions where athletes are going for broke I can only imagine it being ratcheted up a few more degrees in Thailand. It's going to be a very intense competition. Wow, yeah. It's going to be absolutely insane. So it's worth talking a little bit maybe about how Kate's training had been going prior to, to her missing these lifts here. She said that it had been going well, a few hiccups here and there, but she's seeing a lot of progress lately. She did make 110 in training this year, mm. 2024, and 143, which is enormous. Yeah, that's a huge total. Um, but even that, I mean, that 253, that's 10 kilos under what she needs. Yeah. Um, and then no injuries at all. Um, she's trying to find more consistency in the pull. You know? And, and so things are, things are going well, but it just, I mean, that's weightlifting. Yeah, it's, it's hard. Yeah. It's very challenging. Yeah, Matty, on the other hand, she said to us that she she can't give us a lot of info. She said sort of hence the the short, abrupt uh, answer to the questions. But she, we said how's training. She said rocky to say the least. Mm. Um, we said what the best lift you've done. She said I haven't pushed them yet, but 111, 140. That's pretty good. Yeah, those if are you're big. Not pushing. Um, we said any injuries. She said no Just comment. <laughs> yeah. We said thoughts on the other athletes. She said no comment. And then on. Uh, What's that question? Oh, what have you been working on? Said improving my total. Which I mean, yeah, yeah. That's, that's I mean, that is the ultimate answer. What <laughs> else do you do? <laughs> Everything else is just a sub goal within the goal of improving yeah. the total. Yeah. That's the most straight answer, you, most honest answer that's you can give. Yeah, yeah. A straight shooter there. Yeah. Well, you know, she. It's the same with uh, when we asked Kate about what she thought about the other athletes. These two Americans, they don't know the athletes here. Yeah, that's you know, true, it's actually. European champ, so, like, what is there to say? I don't know. And they're not really competing against them at this point. No, I mean, no. they are technically, you know, competing against them for Olympic spots, but really uh, it's not a competition that they would have been eligible for any kind of placement. Yeah. So it looks like, well, so far, Vibert has not withdrawn. No, so. she's not. Whereas but Matty we'll Rogers has withdrawn from Clean and officially. Kate could still come out and have, have a go. Yeah, I, I would, I'd love to see it. Yeah, I think that would be uh, that'd be something really exciting to watch. Yeah. Give herself a chance to make a big lift. Totally. Just uh, two minutes to go now. Till we're back underway. So it looks like we're going to kick things off with the the weaver of the two uh, Moldovans, Silchik, her teammate. Regina is in the silver medal position. She's drawn with that winning snatch of 103 kilos. 19 kilos above a teammate, Silchik, who made 84. Silchik will be out at 100. There's a Regina on your screen right now. And interestingly, the top athletes in the session all like surprisingly very tall in, uh, oh, in the competition. We so, just got word that, yep. uh, yeah, Vibert will will clean and jerk. Yeah, we both felt a hand on our backs. We turned around, and th there was Spencer Arnold. Were you expecting Sergey puts off? Yes, <laughs> so was I. <laughs> the only person who <laughs> normally comes and sometimes, you know, gets, gives us a little massage yeah. during the session is Sergey. But yeah, that was uh, appreciated. That was Spencer Arnold. I felt a little bit alarmed. I yeah. turned around. I thought, who is this I, man? I was I was shocked. Yeah, you know the uh, what's the hairstyle? The American hairstyle. It's a mullet. Uh, the, you know, I turned. The it's first thing I saw was the mullet, and yeah. I thought, you know, don't mug me. <laughs> 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 and then I, and then I, oh, that's, it's Spencer Arnold. Okay, head yeah. coach. I expect uh, him to hop into a 1984 Trans Am and drive away, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. And he said, all he said was, "We're clean and jerk." Yeah, uh, so we, that's good. You know, we can appreciate that. Yeah. As weightlifting enthusiasts, as fans of the sport, we want to see, we want to see lifts. We yep. want to see athletes push themselves and and make big lifts. You know, I almost thought he was going to say, can I jump on the mic? <laughs> I thought, well, the first answer is absolutely. Second answer is, which of us is coming off? Yeah. Because we've only got the two headsets. That's true. <laughs> well, that's not true. We do have another, but I don't want to have to deal with setting that up right now. Yeah. 
Okay, and we are back. There's 85 kilos. The weightlifting house belt there, it's good to see. More and more, actually, at this European Championships. Yeah. We're seeing um, a lot of belts, singlets, knee sleeves. We've, We've got knee sleeves and wraps and a belt in this session, actually. In world records as well. Yeah, world records. It's SR cool, with cool the see. knee sleeves. Okay, so. Still here check here. 100 kilo opener. Right to it. Yeah. She's never made a clean jacking competition internationally. And today she does. That's a first international total. I'm going to guess they'll go up probably around five kilograms. Looks that like pretty it. easy. Yeah. I think that was a gesture from the coach. And that should pull out Simona Jabakova. Uh, Jabakova. At 100 as well. We've seen a pretty decent showing of the Europeans over the years from the Czech Republic. Yeah. Their weightlifting program has grown a bit, I think. But are there any... I mean, this shows my... I, I sort of lose a little bit of history. Or well, my knowledge of the history is maybe not quite as good as, as some others. Um, is there any, are there any superstars from the Czech Republic in weightlifting? I can't really think of any. Certainly, you know, I did the greatest weightlifters book, the top 70 male weightlifters of all time, working on the women still. And I don't believe there was a single athlete from the Czech Republic in there. Yeah, I don't think at that level. I'm trying to even think of any that I can... Yeah, we probably are missing somebody, but... Yeah. I don't know if they would have been at the level of maybe the Soviets or the Bulgarians. Yeah, maybe someone can... Uh, Send a name in for yeah. us if, if we're missing somebody obvious. If you have that obscure knowledge, mm -hmm. please share it. We need it. We're looking for you. Here's 105 for Jab Krova. She snatched pretty well. 87, three key, her personal best for her. This will be a three key, their personal best if she makes it internationally. Good clean. Yeah. She takes her time for that jerk getting set. It's Ooh. a little bit wild. That yeah. You know, there's an. You could. S it, it's possible the jury are going to take a look at the uh, left she, elbow, but you know she got white lights. Yeah. Normally we would have heard a buzzer if the yeah, yeah. No, I think that's seen good. anything. I mean, I like it. I think yeah. it's good left, but yeah, we know what these light. jury are like. Okay, so a little back and forth here between the Czech and the Moldovan. 105 for Siltrik. This puts her at 189 in the total if she makes it. Now, you know, I don't think we had a B session in this uh, weight class. So I was, I was just... I was just informed, Czech Republic athlete. Oh, there's 105. We'll get back to you, Max. Yep. We both got sent uh, interesting messages at the exact yeah. same time. Otto but Zaremba. There's a nice 105. Go on. Otto Zaremba may have been an Olympic champ. Okay. From the Czech Republic. That comes from Yasha Fay. Oh. I mean, you know. He would know. I was going to say, there's maybe only three names in the world that are going to send us a message right now, yeah. because there's only five people who know the answer, Yeah, and two of them aren't listening. Yes. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it came from one of those three, so thanks to Yasha for that. Um, the news I got was that, I don't know if I'm, well, I guess I can say. So apparently, not only is Kate uh, clean and jerking. She's clean jerking with the goal of an American record. I was just going to say that yeah. would be the one lift that would make sense. She could break an American record clean and jerk here. It'd be 253, I believe. But she wants to do the clean and jerk. 150. Okay, okay. I think 152 is the record. Let's see. Sorry, sorry, 142. Okay, I, yeah. Although it may have been moved up, actually. Well, it didn't. Let's see. 147 is the record. So she'd need 144 to is the record. Oh, 44. Olivia Reeves. It's actually lower yeah, it's in lower. the 81s than it is in the 71s. Well, that's a doable lift. So that's 145. 145. That's what 145. She It'll be a personal best. She's probably hit it in training. Yeah. Well, she's certainly jerked more than that. I yeah. think she's been over 150. 
Yeah, I think she's done a 150 clean from blocks and a yep, probably right. a 150 jerk as, as well. So 145 would be the number they're looking for. That would be fun. That would be exciting. And, it, and it's you know it's a great mindset to have yeah. to be this close to the Olympics and still be thinking, oh screw it, I'm yeah. here. Yeah, I didn't make my snatches, but let's go and have some fun. Yep. You know, we Kate's been very open, but with the fact that there's a very good chance she retires after this Olympic quad. And so, right now, she doesn't actually have any senior records to her name, you know, because Olivia Reeves turned up right. in the sport. Um, so, you know, man, go out there and see what she can do. Olivia Reeves holds six senior records right now. All the 71s and all the 81s. And they're all higher than the 76s. Yeah, they Big numbers there. So a reminder, two athletes have withdrawn from competition. Katrina Feklistova, Great Britain, and Matty Rogers, USA. Trebkova here, Czech Republic. Made her opener at 105. She's going for 109. Her opener was a bit of a stumble. She had to sort of stabilize that. Clock is running down. She's up with the clean, no yeah. problem. That was a slightly tidier clean. Oh, oh it's a press uh, out. That, you know, so close. Such an odd miss, too. It's an impressive. Yeah. You know, the amount that her elbow went there and she managed to straighten back. Yeah, just unlocked there momentarily. I wonder if that was almost just a lapse of concentration. Yeah, perhaps. You can see really solid technique here. Yeah, very good, but yeah. then just a little bit loose. She said something to herself as well when the bar was overhead and she knew that she'd done it. Yeah. Probably wouldn't probably make a few guesses at what was said. Couldn't there. repeat that on the no. the stream. It's probably a Although neither of crumbs us, or yeah. something similar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the the best Czech athlete I'm assuming is that Otto Zaremba. He was a nineteen eighty Olympic champion in the hundred kilo class. Mm. Do you think Yasha just knew that off the top of his head or it's very it possible. Up? Yeah. That's very possible. It is possible. This is the final attempt for Silchik. Oh, grind on the way up. Oh, she jumped four kilos from her miss. Wow. Wow, yeah, very okay. nice. Nobody expected it except for her and the coach. Yeah. Unbelievable. Fantastic. A nine kilo jump. She's happy with it. That moves her ahead of Jarabkova by a kilo. Definitely some bad blood there. That was a cool lift to hit. We'll see if Jerbkova here comes out for the 109 and makes it. She is the athlete. Nope, she's going to go for the 10. She wants She wants to get ahead. Well, she doesn't need 10 to get ahead. She can hit 9 and she'd be 3 kilos ahead. Might be a pride thing for the clean yeah. jerk there. She may just want more rest, too. That's possible. You know, she can't really get it anywhere else. Although she's hurrying out yeah. with a minute on the clock, so I don't think it's that. It could well be a personal class. Well, you know, she she basically made that last lift. It'd be a training make, so. Oh yeah. Maybe a little bump up, go for something bigger. I mean, I've missed wits behind and called them training makes, so <laughs> that's definitely a good lift in my books. Yeah, I mean, I've I've thought of making a lift and called it a training make. I've certainly convinced myself I'm capable of things, and then yeah, round up a little bit. Stop believing that I. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is huge for Jerob Kova. One ten. Nice forward, but she's up. She's going to have to stick this landing a lot better than the last one. Fight to hold it. Oh. Uh, just behind. You could <laughs> see from our angle from behind, from the side that she was leaned back a little bit too much there. Well, she was close to a good total there. I mean, still not bad. 192, 87, 105. It's personal best on the international platform in both lifts for her. So she can't be too disappointed with it. But, you know, she's very close to something just a little bit bigger. 
Okay, so we've had word that Yasha Fay did 100% know the answer yeah. of Otto Zaremba off the top of his head. Didn't have to look that one up. Very impressive. I think you know. one of the other people who might know, but who falls into the two people who aren't listening, is probably Arthur Chudlovsky. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, he would know. But he's not listening. Kidzer. Oh, tough clean. They're they probably going to they're going to give her elbow. It. Yeah. It's a good lift. I She's think smart for keeping lifting. I think it's they think it lift. was an elbow. No, it wasn't an elbow. Well, it probably it, looked like that. You have to play the challenge angle, yeah. card. This is a smart this would be a smart time to play that because that That's did not a touch. Terrible call from the judges. It did not touch. Are they going to So we can all review it. Yeah, the jury is reviewing it. Good. Without even the challenge card. Oh, really? Without the challenge card? That's, okay, good, that's good, yeah. That's so they had the card back. That's right. It doesn't matter, though, does it? Because if the if if you're right in the challenge... Yeah, Ooh. those elbows didn't even come close. Maybe in a couple inches away. Yeah, did they come inside? Oh. No. You know, from... The left elbow is close, actually. Right there, you can tell. But I don't think it's a touch. No. She was stunned that they... And that jerk was... Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's money. a powerful jerk. Very strong. Clean was a big hitch there. He said, big Whoa. loop, slow turnover. No, those elbows aren't touching. No. You know, it's inside the knee. You need a different angle, but yeah. I mean, from our side angle, we're, we're fully to the, we're further to the side than, than this re replay. Um, oh, look at that big we could hesitation see. there, but then nothing. I love how you're just critiquing the lift. <laughs> <laughs> Well, poor it's, woman is it's it's one of the reasons why we're seeing this, right? She it's she has that touch. big hesitation, then she falls back on the heel, makes that chest and knee come closer together. But and even if they don't give it to her, yeah, that's not a touch. She can she can come back and um, she can improve as on long that. as she doesn't rock back. She's fine. They okay, reverse it. The Very good. The that's oh, the referees are going to get told off uh, later after that one. That's a shocking. Yeah. Call. I mean, we've seen worse calls from the jury this, this so, you know, the battle for the worst call between referees and jury is in, uh, it's, it's one of the more exciting competitions we've seen. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Who can make a, a worse call? A bit of a... I'm uh, sure we've made some shockers as well during this competition, oh. which, uh, which they could throw in, so, you know. That's, that's unlikely. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't want to single them out, but at the same time, I, I am doing that. Yeah. You know. You know, we've seen some... All of our calls are great. <laughs> <laughs> we have a unique perspective here. Right. Well, that's good. She's got that. She's on the board with it. We'll see now how the rest of this transpires. So, she's going to have to be the next lifter as well, though. 116 now. Can Four I kilo ask increase. A, a question, Max? And this, I, I don't mean to, to date you too much, <laughs> but... When you were coming up in the sport of weightlifting and watching online, were the referees as involved in calling press outs as they are now? Because I know that certainly when you look at old world records from the 80s, you know, if you look at Taranenko's 266, I mean, it was a, he pushed, pushed out many times and it was allowed. Did it gradually get like this? I would imagine that social media and, and the broadcasting probably has some effect on it, but. Are you blaming us? <laughs> <laughs> it's the weightlifting house's fault. <laughs> Oh, oh, tough recovery. But oh, strong that, jerk. That jerk is so emphatic. Yeah. The night and day between yeah. the clean and the jerk. I would say to your question as far as the the calls for the press outs, you know, generally speaking, it seemed that at the higher level competitions, the the calls were a little bit more in favor of the athlete. Yeah. But it's hard to say now. Uh, I feel like I noticed it. It started happening at the uh, Olympic Games in Tokyo. I remember that competition oh, yeah. specifically, just thinking every call is being challenged here by the or is being overturned press I outs that we wouldn't normally see, and it feels like it's just maintained that over the last court. I would say that the Tokyo Olympics was possibly the most strict judging I've ever seen. And when you've got uh, an opportunity to have millions of people watch the sport, it's really a good idea to start yeah. challenging all of these lifts and making it unpalatable to the average person. <laughs> well, a bit of sarcasm there. 
you know, it's a challenge, right? Because the, the rules need to be upheld. But again, you know, the, the most important element of the rules is that they are consistently applied to everybody. The problem we get a lot of times is that the rules become somewhat inconsistently applied. Well, I don't remember Some seeing almost any calls at the Asian Championships last month. Uh, almost any. I mean, very few calls for press outs. I think Asians 2022 was one of the most in favor of the athletes I've ever seen. Yes. yes athletes yes, being yes. given lifts that, that uh, you know, they should have been, but, yep. but a lot of jury stops resulted in athletes getting the lift or being overturned in favor of the lift, the lifter. So. Okay, so we're up at 120 kilos. All the athletes who had it written in as their opener have all bumped up. So that means that she's following herself again. It all comes down to the clean. You know, if she can, she's not got great ankle mobility, but if she can catch the weight with her knees a bit further forward, uh, yeah. center of mass a little bit further forward in the foot rather than uh, rocking back into the heels, which drops the, drops the elbows to the knees. She yeah. can uh, she can make this, but it's going to be a big lift. She's got to be immediate on that turnover. <laughs> no. no. Wow, she didn't even go under that one. Well, sometimes, Max, you <laughs> really do <laughs> just say the perfect thing at the, at the wrong time. That'll end up as a yeah. sound bite in a, a, a clip somewhere. She's got to turn over right away, and then she doesn't even turn <laughs> over. I mean, it was a, it's a great performance from her. Four for six for Daria Kaiser, 96, 116, 212 kilo total. Wow. Okay, so here's one of the, this is the first attempt of an athlete who made the 103. Three athletes match 103. They're in first, second, and third. Here's one of them. It's Legru from Belgium. The only athlete who went three for three actually in the snatch. Here's her opening attempt now at one. 23. Just 18 months into her com competitive career. 18 months since starting weightlifting. Not even <laughs> competitively. Wow. Good clean. Yeah, it's well yeah she's going to get reds on that probably. <laughs> You know, unfortunate. She competed in Belgium a few weeks ago, made 128 kilos. But sometimes, and I speak from experience here, um, these national competitions can be a bit more lax with the yeah. press out rules. And then when the athletes get to the international platform, it's a little tougher. Yeah. Well, we we're just talking about that, right? The athletes, you know, these competitions are not necessarily uniform from, no. from I mean, local meets totally aside, because sometimes those can be just egregious. But you know, from the national level up. Well, certainly when it's for a national record. Yeah. Um, I see it. Although the, the one time I remember when it didn't happen was with Mary Tyson Lappin. Did, was there not a moment where she hit something like 163 kilos for the all-time record and it was given no lift for a, a, a press out? Oh, I or don't I remember, yeah. That? That yeah. Could have been. Something like that. But it is often the athletes who compete internationally who set the national records. So they kind of get away with a few things yeah. sometimes and then uh, come to internationals and, and they're a little bit harsh. Yeah, you know, the, the rules are designed to, to, one, create the parameters for how to lift and create the aesthetic of the sport. Sometimes we see with these rules, they become you know, they morph over the years into certain things. So yeah. the press out rule, originally something that really separated the press from the jerk has now, you know, changed a bit. There's multiple components to it, different elements that cannot be violated. Yeah. The elbows can't lock and unlock. The bar has to be caught at the bottom of the split. The lowest point of, in the lift. Well, you know, prior to weightlifting, that Legree's only been doing for 18 months. She was actually a hammer thrower. Oh, wow. So she was a very powerful, yeah. explosive athlete. You know, she may well have been doing performing hand cleans, hand power cleans. That would make a lot of sense. Uh, but not the necessarily full snatches and cleaner jacks. Still are in here. This is an important lift. It's going to tell us a lot about what sort of shape she's in. Yeah, she's about six kilos behind in the snatch, but she's a good cleaner jerker. A good Looks lift. to be good. It's a good, I mean. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, they're happy with it. The jury, the jury back up the referee's decision. 
the next athletes. Representing Armenia, Yana Yuta. So Gurion from Armenia now. She only went one for three in the snatch at 95, missed 98 twice. She, she doesn't look to be in great shape uh, compared to what we've seen from her in the past. Yeah, she's pretty far behind the snatch. She only snatched 95 on her opening lift. She'd have to make up quite a bit of ground in the clean and jerk. Yeah, she looked a little um, lacking in energy in, in the pull. Wasn't turning it over very fast. She was leaving them out front. Pretty comfortable clean for her. Oh, yeah, just left that forward. You know, we spend a lot of time around yeah. these athletes over the, well, over the years, really. It becomes something where we're able to really kind of hone in on seeing where their weaknesses are. Yeah. You hope to see a better performance sometimes in the competition than in the training hall, but in a lot of cases, it's kind of indicative of what they're going to do on the platform. So Nikki Lowick, 125 now. She doesn't have a total because she didn't snatch, didn't make a snatch. She does have a shot at potentially meddling in the cleaning yeah. jerk if she can make some successful lifts here. And interestingly, she actually switched belts from snatch to clean and jerk. She had an Aleco belt for snatches and a weightlifting house belt for clean and jerks. Made an upgrade there. <laughs> oh, oh, that's she, tough. Yeah. You know, she didn't have a good day in the snatch. She missed yeah. all three lifts, and then she comes out in the clean and jerk and misses as well. I mean, that's it's tough. Yeah. Four missed just lifts. Just not the day. And trying to find now the the. You know, the mental toughness yeah. to come back and try and go up. You know, in some cases, though, when everything should, is off... She should have stuck with the Aleko belt. <laughs> <laughs> when everything is off, it's actually a better a better sign because right. means maybe just, you know, wasn't any one thing. It was just not your day. Yeah. So. Okay, here's LeGrew. A great snatch day, but they, they called her for the press out on her opening clean and jerk attempt at 123. She still came out. She's gone up two kilos. Yeah. She's you know, strong enough. Athletes that come from other sports oftentimes are a little bit later in developing the jerk because mm. it's not uh, the most normal movement for people. They don't really lift weights overhead. So that takes a bit more time to develop. So powerful. Let's see if she can stick this one. No. You know, it was a better attempt. She was locked out, but she was just shifting sideways there. She's full of power and energy, but just, you know, she's she's technically, despite the weight that she's lifting, she's basically a novice at weightlifting. Yeah, I mean, you know, 18, technically. 18 months really isn't very long at all. You know, if 18 months into my weightlifting career, the world was watching me at a European Championship. <laughs> They'd be some, seeing something a whole lot less impressive. Yeah. Uh, both in the weightlifted and certainly in the technique than this. Yeah, I mean, she has medaled in the snatch. Yeah, amazing. That's impressive. That's very impressive. She still has one more, too. She'll come back and make it. Second attempt now for Guryan from Armenia. Yeah, fair few misses now at 125. She made the clean on her opener. That's even stronger than the first. That's good. good. Yep. Good lift there. So she's now on the board at 125. Same way, 125. That moves her into silver. And she's got one more lift. She's within striking distance yep. of a gold medal here. Well, possibly. Yeah, yeah she is. You but if, if any of these three athletes who snatch one is three actually makes a clean and jerk. Yeah, it's going to be too then, far back. Uh, then it's not going to work. Legru here, if she makes this, she would move into the lead the, by six lead. kilos. Yeah. First one was almost there, but forward. Second one, she locked out fine, but was sideways. <laughs> 
Got to clean this up. Yeah. She has all the power to do it. Just a little forward. forward, couldn't get under the bar again. That's unfortunate. Yeah. She will walk away with a medal in a snatch, bronze. Yeah, I mean, imagine turning up to the Europeans after 18 months and getting a medal in the snatch. You know, no, no total, but wow, she's the, the fourth athlete who's not going to get a total. Yeah, it's, Twelve. It's been a bit of a rough session here, yeah. especially for an Olympic category as well. That's no total to Netherlands, Great Britain, USA, USA. To be fair, two of those athletes did just withdraw. Yeah. But still, when you look at the scoreboard, you, you just see a lot of red. Aragina here from Moldova, 126 opener. Yep, this will move her into the lead. That was a solid clean. Right into the jerk. Yeah. Very nice lift. Good lift. She's relieved, yep. and she's in the first spot now. All she has to do is hold on to that. She's got quite a lead as well, seven kilos on second. But this girl right here has something to say about that, I'm sure. Yeah. Zelinska Stubinska. Yeah, she, she made 103. This 127 will put her at 230. She's just trying to stay a kilo ahead of Eregina. They both made the 103. So it should just take a, an attempt after Eregina every time we imagine. Don't forget, we still have Kate Vibert open up at 135 kilos. She'll come out after everyone else is done, we imagine. Very tall lifter, but very, very sharp technically. Is she strong enough there? Strong clean. Yep. Uh, very comfortable opener. Yep. Stubinska is putting herself into the lead here with a 130, sorry, 230 total. It's gonna be a battle. Regina and Stubinska back and forth. I actually received word from a Polish athlete. Uh, that they wanted me to pronounce my surname correctly because it's of Polish heritage. Oh. And they, they, they don't like how I say Ostrovich. It should be yes. Ostrovich. Ostrovich. So I promised them I would do it correctly one time, and that, that's it. There it is. Yeah. I was waiting for the right moment. But Hopefully they were listening. Yeah. Well, they should be. Zielinska's in this session. That's true. So Zielinska moves into the lead. 103, 127, 230. And the fact that one of the athletes who snatched one of three has not made a total suddenly opens a door for Narin, who's coming yeah. out now, and Gurian from Armenia. Yeah, this just solidifies third place a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So yeah, a bit surprising. She's usually a very strong cleaning jerker, but she'd that have one was forward. She'd have made it. She'd have forced Burian to take thirty-one to move into bronze, which would have been too much. Yeah, but I don't miss that. That's left the door open. Burian could potentially take twenty-eight and move ahead.
Down, down to one minute. See what she does. It's amazing how the music in the building changes the atmosphere. Yes. You know, the... Yeah, we haven't heard DJ. much of the... Uh, well, the DJ was playing Rage Against the Machines earlier, and now we just had a bit of what felt like a bit of uh, 80s disco. Yeah. 70s disco? I wasn't around. Was, was that it 70s or 80s? I don't know. That's 70s. Was that 70s. name brand Rage Against the Machine, or was it the Royalty Free? No, it's real oh. Rage Against the Machine, oh. yeah. Not the Rage Against the Machine we have at home. <laughs> All right, here's 128. It was the neighbors. Good clean again. Just got to get it behind the head. Uh, it was wobbly, and then she missed yeah, it. Wouldn't have counted either way. There. But she's still in bronze. Um, the issue is it's going to come down to Gurion. If Gurion can take 128 and make it, she's going to get the bronze. But she hasn't dropped down. Oh, and it's already too late. 1.9 oh no. on the bar. She made Why? it. What have well, they done? At least, can, okay, they've come down to 29 at least. Yeah. But they, they, yeah. they're going to be lifting a kilo more than they would have needed. Yeah, you've got to be really quick with those changes. You've got to be right there at the scores table to make sure you get it in on time. Although maybe she's thinking, you know, maybe Gurion's thinking uh, something bigger here, but I, be, I just would be surprised. No. Yeah, that's a strange call. 129. Maybe a medal. Bigger medal. That's a tough Whoa. clean there. But that's wow, a solid lift. That's really it's, good. it's done there. Yeah, it's good to see Moldova coming in and lifting well here because they, they had poorer performances in Doha. Marin Robu didn't lift so well, and then yesterday he turned up and hit personal best and, he, and got into the top 10 of the world. And now we see it with Erigina. You know, she went to the Grand Prix, didn't lift so well. I remember seeing her coach just absolutely berating her after the session. Just brutal yes, to watch. Yeah. Um, but now she's turned up here and she's in the form of her life. So this lift would move her into third place. Would yeah. overtake the Turkish lifter, Naren. This is massive. Huge attempt. She missed her opener at 125 kilos. She missed the jerk. She came back out and made it. And now this four kilo jump for the bronze. Currently in fourth. It's tough. The other cleans yeah. weren't like that. Uh, no. Made every no. effort to do it, but it was just too heavy. I think she's okay. I don't even think she's lightheaded. I think she just fell. Yeah, she's she's yeah. okay. She's up. She's walking it's good. off. Yeah, uh, a big round of applause there from the crowd. So that's guaranteed bronze to Dolara Narin from Turkey. She got silver last year, bronze this year. But the battle for gold is still well and truly on. Erigina is in the lead. She made 129 kilos. That puts her at 232 kilos in the total. Two kilos ahead of Zielinska, who's going to come out now for 130 kilos. Max, my my feeling of this is that if Zielinska makes this, that's going to be it. I, I just yeah. can't see Erigina making another lift. Well, you know, Stubinska's got two attempts left as yeah. well, so... She could do 30 and then 32 and be really solid, but like you said, this 130 would Might really move her up. This puts in the lead. Leaves Arigina with one final attempt to move back ahead. Yeah, it's, yep. it's not bad. She does have a snappy uh, jerk, but this is the jerk. They, she's going to go to no lift there. Yeah, Three it was going to be a press out. It gets a bit more interesting now. Both athletes. Wow. One attempt left. Well, she has to come. They're separated by two kilograms right now. And Erigina can steal her clock here. Yeah. So Erigina, well, there you see the Moldovan coach makes the change. The lift would be Erigina because she's been waiting longer. She took 129. 
Was the Linska taking 130 on her second? Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Well, so she still she only gets a minute. Yeah, basically did steal the clock because yeah, she went up a yeah. kilo. Yeah, Regina's smart move there. The Moldovans moving up a kilogram. It's going to force Stubinska to take 130 again with one minute rest. She could move up, but, you know, she's she's not in the lead. So whatever she moves up to, she's probably going to have to take in order to make a lift that would surpass uh, Regina. Unless Regina takes this 131. What do you think? I think 131 is a smart attempt because it really puts pressure on yeah. Stubinska, you know, looking at these athletes, you Give have it a to go. be you have to be realistic. You have to take lifts you can make. You want to push people to a position that they're forced to take something that's just outside their reach. Mm -hmm. Yep, she's coming out for it. So she's in the lead by two. This will move her up by another two kilos. We'll put her at 234. Four kilos ahead of Zelinska. Zelinska will then need to make 132 kilos to get the gold. Let's see. Oh, it's a better clean than on her second attempt. Right into the jerk, oh and it's strong. Word. I didn't expect her to get it. Yeah. No lift, oh. two reds. Uh, you've got to play a challenge card on yeah, that. I mean, I they've, mean, they've got it, so they'll have to play it. But I, I think totally see how it's not like it was the, it's not like a snappy lockout. Oh, it's a jury stop. Oh, the jury stop. The jury actually They're wants to take a look. Hopefully. Yeah, let's watch this in the replay. You can see the elbows, I would say, shake. Is how yeah, I would describe yes. it. I don't think they've unlocked the They're soft in the catch, but they're, they're not necessarily pressing out. Yeah, let's take a let's look at this here. now. Oh, that's... I mean, this is so... That's just shaking. That's not a press out. That's not an unlock. Max, have we ever seen the judges and the jury disagree so much in a competition? Well, you know... Yeah, it's a good they reverse it. So the jury so overturned. Good. That's the right call. That really is. Is the that has that happened twice in the session? That yeah, the, the jury has intervened yeah. and said Second to the time. judges, "Guys, you're wrong." I mean, that's that, that call was absurd. Yeah, it was absurd. Red lights on that lift is absurd. Yeah. You know, I wonder how much that technical official wow. meeting they had earlier really, you know, steered the judges, the sorry, the referees into the wrong direction. Yeah. They're thinking they need to be too strict, which is really not the case. They need to be accurate. They need to make the calls that are correct. Apply the rules across the board evenly to everybody. You know, well, just, just like her teammate, Marin Robo. strict call. Okay. So she's coming out for it. Stubinska is going 132. Yeah. This would give her the, the gold. gold medal European Championships. She did just miss 130, though, so she's going up another two kilos. Yeah, huge attempt here. It won't be easy. Better clean than the last. Oh. It's a tough recovery. Oh, oh, it looks to be good. Word. I can't believe what she's a done phenomenal it. lift. After a stand that looked like that, the pull was not too hard. The recovery was impossibly difficult. One more and kilo. Somehow, I don't know if it would have gone. Somehow, you've yeah. got a feel for the Moldovans there. They did everything they could. Well, they made but they weren't calls. strong enough for yeah. Zelenska. That 131 was a good call for the Moldovan, but yeah, just was not enough to fend off with Stupinska. Okay, so just quickly, uh, Zelinska wins the European Championships. Yep. Erigina takes the silver, and Noren takes the bronze. Competing separately as a guest athlete is Kate Vibert, the 2019 World Champion. She missed all the snatches, but we've heard word from the coach, Spencer Arnold, that Kate maybe wants to take a shot at an American record cleaning jerk. That'd be 145 kilograms. This 140 opener, the heaviest opener of her life. Huge lift here. I mean, at most competitions, she'd be just happy to make this yeah, her this third is, attempt. This is big. A good clean. Yep. Very strong. That's a 
tough jerk. Yeah. No lift. You know, we'll see what, what this... What do you think that was? Was that, was that a missed time? She's shaking Footwork. her head there. She looks like she's <laughs> maybe over it here. She doesn't look like an athlete who's thinking about... Oh, no, the Pyrrhus just said we're going up. You know, I mean, maybe she's maybe she doesn't have any reason to take 140. There's not a lot of adrenaline, right? The clean you know, was very good. It's a heavy lift, and it doesn't really mean anything. So do they put 145 on and take a shot at the American record? You know, how many chances do you have in your career to do that at a moment where it really doesn't matter if you miss? Yeah. Well, the, the card is still on the table. That means they haven't scratched, so question yeah. here Definitely is... It looks like she's going to take this again. But it, that's a difficult thing. I mean, they just don't have You know what they could do is time. Just, they could just burn this clock yeah. and then take 45 on the third. Give her a couple of minutes of rest. Yeah. Just giving her a bit of a coaching cue there. No, I think... Make this jerk. I think she's coming out for it. Wow, right away. For the second attempt. We have to admire the mental strength for Kate to fly out here, miss all her snatches, and basically the, the reason she came out here was to move up into a, a ranking spot for the Olympics. That's now impossible, but she's still got it in her yeah. to go for an enormous clean and jerk. Better clean than oh, the first. Wow, that's the one. Oh, yeah. It's heavy. If she's yeah, ever going to make a jerk after clean, it was going to be that clean. And her dip looked it looked like at the bottom of the dip, her knee came in a little bit yeah. in a way that it wouldn't normally. I think I that's think it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. You yeah. don't get pats on the back from Pyrrhus Dimas before a third attempt. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Yeah, that she's done. I think she's going to scratch now. Although we'll see. No, Spence, well, Spence is at the table. He could be saying, <laughs> he might He might turn, I turn mean, back it would be to Kent and say, we're going for 45. Yeah, she's. <laughs> no, she's withdrawn. She's retired. It's a valiant, a valiant effort, you know, not making a snatch and still coming out to do a clean and jerk, but. Max, when we, look, day. when we look at the scoreboard, there are uh, about a third red, maybe even half red. Yeah, there's, I mean, how many attempts are there? There's 12 athletes, 30, 72 attempts. Yeah, yeah two athletes withdrew without even doing a snatch. There are 26 white squares out of 72. Oh, yeah, it's about a third. A third made. Yeah, third made lifts. Almost. Just over. That is... <laughs> that's pretty shocking <laughs> to <laughs> see. It's, <laughs> it's some kind of session, for sure. <laughs> yeah, it goes down in history of some sorts. Um, five athletes didn't total out of the 12. But the European champion is Polish. We haven't seen a Polish-European champion in a while. A very long time. Very yeah. cool to see. Zelinska, 103-132. A 235 total. She beats... Eregina from Moldova by a kilo. 103, 131, 234 for her. And then Delara Narin had a, a pretty bad day in the, uh, well, in the snatch, but came back and, well, I mean, also had a pretty bad day in the cleaner show. <laughs> she only made her opener, but it was enough for the bronze medal. 222 kilos. The runner up, Gurian, uh, Gurian from Armenia, 95, 125. Wow, what a session. Okay, well, we're going to be back in just over an hour. We have the men's 96 kilo A session. It's going to be the battle of, well, a couple of very strong Armenians in that one. Hakob, Makrichian, and uh, David Hovanissian. We also have plenty of other athletes, so you don't want to miss that. And that's in just over an hour.